Now we are going to Patricia Bussi. She studied a business management in Turin. And I think Patricia right now is with her children from Turin. And welcome to you to our conference. She has a large experience on social cooperative in Italy, but also now she's the director of the European Network of Social Integration Enterprise, ENSI, representing social enterprises and essential, especially more than 3,200 org integration social enterprises across Europe. ENSI right now has 26 members in 19 EU countries, plus Serbia and Moldavia. Since 2012, Patricia, she's a member of the European Commission Expert Group on Social Business, JECES, member of the Working Group on the Role of Clusters and Similar Forms on Business Cooperation. Thank you, Patricia, to accept the invitation, to accept the test on Zoom before this meeting. Now you have the floor. Thank you very much to all of you. Good morning, everyone. Good afternoon, more. And uh, thank you, especially to Vasile and uh, also Felicitas, uh, the person who I was in contact for this invitation, and also to Mr. President Christiana to welcome NC in uh, your Zoom conference. Uh, it's a pleasure to be with you. Uh, we know that you are a strong uh, actor for what uh, we all believe too, so for the integration of disadvantaged and disabled group. So I will share with you a short presentation of NC, and then I will be ready for question if anyone uh, has someone. So I'm just waiting for the presentation. Okay, I think that's fine. So as uh, uh, Vasile already lent you, uh, NC is a, a network of uh, uh, network, uh, national and regional network of uh, work integration social enterprises. Uh, it was founded in 2001 and you have already had the data uh, by Vasile concerning our member and our uh, representative countries. I think it's important uh, to well define uh, what uh, the member of NC has, has identified themselves as a WISE, so as a work integration social enterprise. Uh, a work integration social enterprise is an enterprise uh, that works for the professional and social integration of uh, especially disadvantaged groups. So especially people uh, coming from uh, long-term unemployment, uh, coming from uh, a problematic group uh, with the uh, uh, addiction problem, with the social problems. At the same time, we are really talking about enterprises, so about uh, economic operators that decide to sell uh, services and products in order to have a, a turnover and then to have at the end of the year uh, a turnover higher than the cost in order to be always sustainable. And then uh, the last point of the WISE is, is the uh, pedagogical dimension. A uh, pedagogical dimension that is uh, the dimension that uh, uh, allow uh, the, the integration enterprises uh, to train the people on the job. So the first training um, and the training that uh, try to develop the basic skill for this person, but also some uh, uh, we, we have seen that in some countries, the work integration social enterprise uh, work more than this and try to uh, help the person to become, uh, uh, again, a participative uh, person in the society and to be more active. So it's a pedagog pedagogical dimension that work more than just on the training and on the job, but that work really on the people, on the person. What, is, uh, what are the strategic objectives of NC that were decided in 2017 by the General Assembly of NC? There are in specific two big priorities. These are the main priority. The first one is the lobbying and representation activity, uh, especially linked to the work of the European institution. So there is a monitoring work concerning 
the EU legislation that uh, can uh, in some way uh, touch uh, and present problem for the wises, uh, as for example, the general block exemption regulation, that is the regulation about the state aid, uh, the regulation that concern uh, the VAT, the value at the tax, and so on. Then we have uh, the promotion of the, the as, you, call, as uh, you have called, the, the, the model of uh, integration, of work integration, in the economic and social policies at European level, trying to develop a new framework for, for WISES that is appropriated for all types of WISES in Europe, and organize and participate in European conference, seminar, and group of experts. The second priority is trying to support uh, the member with the lobbying activity for the member in the country, uh, promoting the exchange, uh, reinforcing communication, and monitor uh, national and regional needs. W which are the areas in which NC is more uh, concentrated? We can say, in general, uh, the, the area concerning the support and development of work integration social enterprise, so legal framework, financial support, legal constraint, again, uh, the de minimis, the de minimis uh, framework and the GBR regulation, then all the management concerning the human resource and the management of the activity. Then we have the access to the market that can be an access to the public market and so the public procurement, but that can also be an access to the private market and so we can have a, a strong partnership with the private enterprise, uh, the so-called corporate social responsibility. Then we have an area in digitalization and new technologies. In particular, we are developing a platform, uh, a platform of uh, tool, uh, so of software that can be in particular used by work integration social enterprise. And we have also some specific training for WISES and a MOOC uh, that um, prepare uh, the WISES in particular manager or director to social marketing and financing. And I will for sure share with all of you the, the address of the platform because I think it's a really um, interesting platform. Then we have another focus area that is really linked to the target group of the wise represent. So we have some specific uh, project and work for uh, the migrants. We have uh, had a specific uh, work on long-term unemployment also because the commission uh, sort out uh, last year with a, uh, a communication on long-term unemployment. And then we follow also all uh, the, not all, but we try to follow the young, uh, um, the, some projects linked to the young people and especially young people in problem. Then we have an area that is, that concerns the social and economic impact measurement of work integration social enterprise. One concerning the skill and the education, skill uh, and education of uh, three targets. One are the disadvantage group, one are the the person that work with disadvantage groups so i'm thinking to the job culture to the tutor and so on and one to the director and manager of the enterprise and then we have this other important very important area this is the uh, the one concerning the european semester the european semester is the legislative and consultative process used by the european uh, union to communicate with the member state and there is a sort of uh, uh, coming up and down of uh, uh, messages uh, uh, between the Commission and the national uh, member. Then here we have uh, some challenges that we are uh, uh, we are uh, encountering uh, in our daily war within NC. I don't know if I'm late. I have to be shorter, Vasi. Yes, so I go faster. Then in this challenge, I think you already know them because you are part of the sector. So you know that there is a lack of knowledge, especially when there is no model or the um, national member, the national authority uh, has not fixed uh, a model for work integration social enterprise. Then we have national burden, is administrative burden, if we want to, to respect all the condition and the report needed in order to be a wise. 
then we have uh, uh, the lack of EU policy about EU policy information and so the important role of the European semester. And then I think it could be good to close my uh, presentation where um, we're rich in 2019. First of all, the work integration social enterprise was recognized as a sector, an economic sector by the commission. And in fact, a very big call for proposal was launched about uh, the work integration social enterprise as a sector and is the sectorial blueprint uh, that is uh, studying uh, the, the need to develop skill in this sector. Then we have the EPSCO conclusion. The EPSCO is uh, the, the meeting in which uh, the Minister of Social Affairs and Labor Employment met. And during the last one in Luxembourg in 2019, there was the recognition of the inclusive labor market. Then uh, we have uh, the renewal of the social economy intergroup in the European Parliament. And uh, I think one of the big uh, achievements was also that France arrived through the European semester process to integrate the wise in the national reform. And the fact that Commissioner Schmidt was, uh, um, was uh, nominated by the president of the commission to uh, prepare an action plan for social economy to enhance social innovation for the end of 2021. And this will be really a very good opportunity for WISES, but for all the social economy actors in order to uh, be heard and to put concrete measures for the development and the support of the sector. Last thing that I think is very important, we are working also with CEFEC, uh, Social Firm Europe, in order to uh, publish in these uh, days a communication, a statement addressed to the European institution president and the chief of government about uh, uh, the problem that uh, the, the the virus uh, the, that is uh, now in Europe and you have talked before is uh, uh, causing to uh, the wises and to the uh, all form of economic operator that have inclusive and supportive employment and underlining the fact that uh, the people we are working with are people that normally have problem and need our support and more than ever now they need our support but we are together doing this thank you very much for for um, for the presentation for the possibility you have given me and if you want to contact me here you have my contact and then uh, Vazi has my contact and anyway we are in contact and we work together to build a more social Europe thank you very much thank you very much Patricia and that is true that we are planning uh, to make these joining activities to support this um, uh, this important issue in Europe, and um, uh, thank you very much to be part of this. And we have the chance to meet several times during the year. So, uh, so thank you, thank you again to Enzi and thank you to Patricia.